wanted to take the opportunity to, to visit with a, a friend and a, uh, and a sponsor of my swim, Danielle, who is the owner of this fine establishment, the Scottish Bakehouse, and also has a, has a personal connection to dyslexia. Okay, Trip, your brother. Is my brother, my older brother. What did you observe was his challenge early on, and what, it was, what was it like for you as a sister to witness that? I think his, the biggest challenge he faced in school was that nobody really understood it initially, mm -hmm. so he became known as like the behavior issue child, mm -hmm. and it actually wasn't, he wasn't the behavior issue, it was just that n nobody understood why he wasn't getting it, and then he started feeling less than equal to his peers, and I think at that point you start acting out. I think that was his biggest obstacle, because then he became labeled as the, the behavior issue throughout the rest of his career in that school district. And what did, what did uh, acting out look like for him? Talking back to teachers, mm, you know, eventually by high school, maybe not showing up to the class that he felt mo least adequate in, say English mm -hmm. or history, because he couldn't, it's all about reading. Yeah. Um, and so then he became somebody that didn't go to class, became a comedy cut, um, you know, almost didn't graduate. And it was all because he just couldn't read the material as quickly as everybody else could process it. He had, and he wasn't taught the skills to kind of undo the, the little tricks that you can use to undo some of the dyslexia until he was in high school and at that point, you know, a lot of that emotional damage had happened. The one thing I know I took out from that situation of my being in the house with my brother with that was that people learn in so many different ways and just because they don't learn in the way that you learn doesn't mean that they can't learn. I think some point right after high school, he recognized that he wasn't going to go to college. That year after, when he should have been in college, he, he did a bunch of odd kind of jobs. And he worked really well with um, AV equipment and mechanical things. And he would, you know, things with his hands and building and deconstructing and rebuilding and fixing. I mean, when he was a kid, he was a BMX bike racer and you know now he races Porsches so like but he like takes his Porsche apart and puts it back together and you know he's the top the number one driver in the northeast section of America for Porsche racing.